Hi everyone, this is Tuplex. Welcome back. So I got the circuit build for the module factory completed and it's running. Um, <clears throat> it started up correctly. I haven't had any problems, thank goodness. So we've now got a full belt of green circuits coming out and we've got half a belt of red and half a belt of blue. Um, and I'm thinking that we could maybe combine, I mean, I guess we can combine red and blue belts up top here. Like this. <clears throat> There's no point in having two half belts. Actually, maybe there is. Yeah, I think there is a point in having two half belts. Um, that point being that we don't need blue belts for the level one modules, but we do need them for the level two and the level three modules. Okay. All right, so now I need to well, let's do the build, or let's build the factory where we're gonna make the modules, and then we'll decide how to uh, how to route the belts. Because I do need to combine all these, more or less. Okay, so for each module type, we're gonna go 10 to five to two. All right, so let's start, give ourselves some room. And then I'll do one, two, three, four, five, ten to five to two. All right, so level one to level two are two to one, right? Two to one, and then it's five to two. So let's see if we can arrange this intelligently. Five to two, right? So that would be five to two. And then each one of these gets two. I mean, I'm just playing around with it here. I don't know if this is gonna work. I think I might have problems with belts. Something like that would work. But then it would be difficult to feed this one. Well, I think maybe maybe this part of it is okay. And then we just have to think of some creative way to fill to feed this center portion. One, two, three. Let's leave room for more belts. One, two, three. Okay, the twos require red and green, or red and blue, and these require red and green. All right, so red and green. One, two.
right? So that could be a combined red and green setup. Right, these can be three red and green belts. And then these all need red and blue. So we could have red and blue, red and blue. Huh, could it be this simple? I think it might be this simple. And then we just have to get the modules out of here. Um, I think that'll work. And then I make one of these for speed modules. They could probably even share that belt. Yeah, they could share that belt. Then I'm going to have three belts. Yeah, let's not. Well, no. So I'm going to have one, two, three. That would give me five belts of green and red combined, which is a little ugly. Six belts. Yeah. I'm not crazy about the odd numbers here, but I think it'll be okay. Let's share it. Okay. All right, and let's power it up. Put one there, one there. I feel like I must be missing something because this seems, this seems like it's a little bit too easy. One, two, one, two, three, four. So this is the center. I'll bring it up like about there so that I have room to redistribute belts. I do need to get some speed modules. Okay, now let's get to... Let's get to combining belts now. How am I going to do this? I 
I think I probably should just combine the red and blue belts. No, 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 no. All right. Okay, so I can do that. Need to pick this up again. So I got one, two, three, four, five, five red and greens. So let's see if I have an eight to five balancer. Good Lord. That is monstrous. I'd rather just use an eight and eight at eight to eight and not use all the belts. Okay. So I'll put that there and then I'll upgrade it to blue. And then I'm going to need one, two, three, four of the red and blue. That'll be a much simpler affair. Three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So this one goes down here. That one goes there. This one goes there. This one goes here. goes there. And I need more belts. Okay. are the red and blue. This one I'll put like this there.
Okay. Now let's see if it works. I think it does. I'm just as surprised as you are. Okay, now I've got a lot of blue circuits here, so let's... <clears throat> oh, and I forgot to change all the recipes over here. Crud. Okay. Uh, shoot. All right, well, so be it. These need to be speed. That means some of these productivity modules are going to get lost. Whoops. No, let's try that. Okay. So I have some level twos that I can distribute there. All right, get rid of some of the level ones. And I'll give you guys some level ones as well. And then I'll come back with more level ones to feed the machines. <clears throat> All right, so this this could be a quick episode. Because I'm not going to be able to... Well, I guess I can get started with the rest of the time in this episode. I can get started with the... Um, Yeah, and I think I think we'll just turn this off now, right? We got enough. All right, 348 speed ones should be enough. And then the other thing that I could do is I could add in some a logistics network to feed in recycled level one modules in the appropriate places. And this is not going to work quite as advertised until I have some level three modules because the planner assumed that these were all level three modules. And then, of course, I'm only using level ones at the moment. Okay, and as for the output... I guess I'll just stick him in a chest for the time being. All right. So those all have speed modules. Those have speed modules. Now the level twos, I'm going to have to insert the modules manually because Otherwise, it'll think that I'm giving it ingredients. Okay. 
Okay. Well, the build appears to be working just fine. Let me, I'm going to upgrade these to fast inserters. It might not be necessary. But let's not take any chances. There we go. Everything's just as fast as can be. Okay, and we've already made 12. Okay, so what I was saying, we could then take some requester chests. Let me craft some more here. And have these feed all the level two machines with level one modules. So that when the level one modules come out, we can recycle them. Okay, so here we're gonna be requesting Productivity one modules. Okay, we'll need a RoboPort, of course, which I can put right there, and that'll cover the whole build. Okay, and then These will be requesting speed one modules. Oops. Okay, and I'll Put a couple storage chests there. Let me get some logistics bots. Won't need many. Maybe just, you know, a stack of 50. Should be more than enough. And then when we have leftover modules, we can just, we can put them into an actor provider chest or into my own personal trash slots. And they'll get picked up and turned into level three modules. All right, I'll put actives there so that we can empty these out and put them over into storage. Okay. So the next thing I think I need to do is, all right, let's take these modules over there, is start to work on smelting. Well, no, I'm gonna keep the modules for now. Okay. Um, yeah, let me take another look here. 20, 26, okay. And red circuits are slow. Well, everything's slow. So I really need to upgrade the modules. Let's look at power. I need more power. That's certainly not helping things. All right, I think I'm still only on six reactors. Yeah. So we got the module factory done. I guess more power is probably the next thing that we need to do. And then we'll need to upgrade smelting. Because this is telling me I need... I 
8.3k and 11k per minute. Oh, maybe I don't need to upgrade it. Okay. I'm already making enough plate, although a lot of that a lot of that production could be coming from over here. At least some of it is. Let's see how we're doing on ore. I got plenty of copper, I got plenty of iron. Okay, so mining doesn't seem to be a problem right now. And I have plates in reserve, so maybe that's not a problem either. No, we're actually doing fine on incoming material. I guess it's just it's just the modules. We need to get all these modules updated. Or upgraded, I should say. Although, maybe I'm looking at the wrong thing. Yeah, I mean, these machines are not working, so the fact that we're missing red circuits on the belt tells us that something is not fast enough. And this side has more reds than that side, but I think it's just because I think it's just because that side was interrupted while I was while I was changing recipes. So I suspect that in a little while these will all be in the same situation of being somewhat starved of red circuits. Let me take a blueprint of this whole thing. Does it tell me how many modules I need? Yes, it does. Okay. <clears throat> so I need 288 productivity three modules to upgrade that whole area. So once I have that, I'll swap all those out. Okay, and in the meantime, I can also, I can feed it with, I mean, I've got a lot of level one modules, so I can feed it with those two. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so let's get, let's get like 300 of each. I might not have 300 speed modules. Okay. Yeah, let's take those over there and we'll inject those. Oh, I need to get logistics bots. There we go. Okay. Let's just, I'll just put an actor provider chest right there so that when I do come to visit, I can just get out of my train. And drop off the modules. And then I can also use bots to bring the completed modules over here for me to pick up. And in fact, maybe, maybe we put them in one of these wagons. Yeah, I think we will at some point. For now, I'll just pick them up.
Okay. Oh, let's put the bots in. There we go. All right, and then I'll put two requesters. One will be for the speed modules, and the other one will be for the productivity modules. 50 times 48 is... Uh, 2,400. need to be passive providers. Okay, so just having the modules fill, fed in here will allow me to use fewer circuits, obviously, but, uh, you know, that's only going to last for so long. short-term boost. Okay. All right. <clears throat> well, module factory is up and running. Uh, so, as I said, the next step is going to be more power. And I think at this point, I ought to... I think I'm going to skip eight reactors and go all the way up to ten. Which would be this blueprint. There we go, and that'll give me 1.4 gigawatts. So let's go down there and plop that down, and then between now and the next time we meet, I will work on setting it up. Because I'm going to have to wait to craft some reactor parts. All right. Well, that'll do it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.